So welcome to the all new Launcher Manager for your Amazon devices, giving you the easiest way to update your home screen into something special. Now the three biggest fixes in this release is we now have the fully working equipment control. So I can click on that and manage all of my equipment. We can now also manage our display and sound settings. So I can go into this, I can change my HDMI CEC settings, update my display resolution, change my sound settings. And we also now have the ability to change the default keyboard on our Amazon devices. So if I now go down here, I can say, I don't want to use the Amazon keyboard. I can click on this. And let's say for example, I want to use the lean key keyboard, which is what we have on our Android TV devices. I can click on that. So one click, no typing, no ADB. And now when I open up the keyboard, we can now see we have a fully working QWERTY keyboard, the lean back keyboard, which is just so much easier, so much more intuitive than the default Amazon keyboard. So in this video today, let me show you how you can get the latest version of Launcher Manager, Wolf Launcher, and even the Linky keyboard. So you really can just get the most from your Amazon device. All you need to do is just hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, Let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so I'm doing my demonstration on the Amazon 4K Fire Stick, but you can follow this process on any Amazon device as long as it runs Fire OS 6 or Fire OS 7. The very first thing you need to do is just go over to your settings, go over to My Fire TV, Go into developer options and just make sure you have ADB debugging enabled and also apps from unknown sources. Once you've confirmed that, let's now jump over to downloader and we're now going to make a quick connection to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com or you can type in the short code 534. I mean, this new keyboard is just so much nicer than the, the standard Amazon keyboard. So 53402 is a short code to get directly to my website. Now, when you get to my website, you want to head over to the hamburger menu, which is the one with the three lines. Let's click on that and then click on tutorials. And what I've done is my previous tutorial for the launcher manager for your Fire devices, your Amazon devices and Android TVs, I've added the new files to that. So if I scroll down, here we go. So the one that says launcher manager for Fire OS 6 and also Android TV devices, let's click on that. Make sure you always install the Launcher Manager and Wolf Launcher or any custom launcher onto your internal storage because there's always a risk that if you install it to your USB drive and maybe that device gets corrupted or maybe something happens to it, that means you've now disabled your stock launcher and you have no way of getting to your custom launcher because that USB device is now inaccessible. So let's now scroll down. Here we have the normal step-by-step -step instructions. And what we're looking for here is the software. Here we go. So if you are using a Shield, you can get this version of Launcher Manager. If you're using an Android 10 device, like the Chromecast with Google TV, you can get this one. And for the Amazon devices, we have the latest version of this Launcher Manager, which is 1.1.2. This has the fixes that I previously mentioned, and it also has the ability to use a custom keyboard. So on your device, you want to download the Launcher Manager, the latest version. That's now all done. We can now click on done. Let's press back on the remote. Now the latest version of Wolf is 0.1.9. So double check your version. If you haven't got the latest version, this is the one that you want to install. This has some new features like the ability to have custom icons. You can also have the blank space at the top automatically built in. And it also has the backup and restore feature. Now, if you don't want to use that one, you can also use the lean back on fire. And lastly, we have the lean key keyboard. So on your device, install the latest launcher manager, install a custom launcher. And if you do want to use a custom keyboard, install Linky as well. Once you've done all of that, let's now press the home key and let's now open up the launcher manager for the first time. Okay, so here we are inside launcher manager. Very, very easy to use. We have the shortcuts to our favorite Fire Stick settings or Amazon settings. But before we do all of that, if I go over to launcher options, I now get two options, which is to enable a custom launcher or to disable one. So because we want to use the Wolf launcher or any custom launcher, I'm going to click on enable custom launcher. 
and we can now see that my current launcher is now the wolf launcher and what that means is when I now press the home key in a couple of seconds we are now inside the wolf launcher and of course in this custom launcher we don't see any of those big adverts no sponsored applications no promoted videos or services we really can tweak this custom launcher and get it looking exactly how we like it so for example we can see i've done some tweaks already i've added some custom sections i've hidden some applications now one question from our previous video which was um, how do i get this large section at the top because in the previous version you had to add a blank section to the top and then hide the name but as we can see if i press the context key which is the one with the three lines if i go to launcher settings if i go to sections this one two three section is what i created before to get that space at the top but it's just not needed anymore so if i click on that we can see i've actually got it disabled because when i turn that on let's press back on the remote so not only do we get this horrible message at the top now saying this section is empty, we can now see the section at the top is way too big. So, so the blank section at the top is now built into the latest version of the Wolf Launcher. So again, just go back into your settings, go to sections. I can now remove this because it's just not needed. Let's now actually delete this section. Let's click on the cross next to that. Do you want to remove that? Say yes. So now we have no section at the top. And now when I press the home key, we can see I still have a nice blank section at the top so we can appreciate the wallpaper. And then all of your applications are now underneath that. And that's looking great. Now, if you want to adjust the height of this space, what you can also do is if you go back into your settings, go to launcher settings, go to sections, click on widgets. And here, for example, what you can do, you can actually adjust the height of this blank section by clicking here. Now, as I go to the left, we can see that my blank section is now being adjusted. So for example, if you don't have too much of a space, you can do that. Or if you want even more space, you can bring it down like this. And that's how easy it is to get a nice blank section at the top without adding in any custom sections. Let's back off that. Now the other great thing about Wolf is we can also customize the logo on the top left. So I can now go to other settings. And here we can see we have multiple options for the logo. So Let's say, for example, I don't like the Wolf Launcher logo. I like my Fire TV logo. I can click on that, click on Save. And in a couple of seconds, we now see the Fire TV logo. And that also updates on the top left of the screen. So again, very, very easy to customize. And you really can tweak this launcher and get it looking exactly like you like here. But let's say, for example, I now want to change my display settings or maybe access the Amazon App Store. What do I do? What we can now do is we can go back to the launcher manager, which is here. Alternatively, you can long press the home key. And now when I go to settings, this takes me into launcher manager. So that's also a great shortcut you can use to quickly get back into launcher manager. Or for example, if I want to change my remote settings, I can click on this and manage my remotes. Now, if you want to access the application store, the official Amazon app store, you can click on app store. So all of this does take you directly into the App Store and you can see all of the standard applications in here. The only thing you can't do is search. And the reason for that is the native search is actually built into the stock launcher. So as we disable the stock launcher, we lose that ability to search the App Store. Now let's say you want to change that custom keyboard. So let's now go back into settings, scroll down, and we now have the option to change keyboard. So on your device, it'll be set to the Fire TV default one. But if you do want to try the lean back keyboard, once you've installed the software, you can come down to this, click on that, press back on the remote. Let's now press the home key. Now any application that you use that normally shows you the on-screen keyboard, that will now automatically update to the lean key keyboard, a full QWERTY keyboard, what you see on your Android TV devices. Uh, for example, inside the downloader, we now see that much better lean key QWERTY keyboard. Let's back out of that. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I know lots of you do use the Wolf Launcher as your main launcher across many of your devices. And I was actually thinking of doing some kind of setup series where you guys can send me a screenshot of your home setup, showing me how you've configured Wolf, if you have any widgets, what your background is. So if you guys are interested in sending me that, do have a look in the pinned comment for an email address where you can send me your wolf setups and I will feature that in a future video. So 
Really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.